I'm going to show you why the new LEGO Clone Trooper helmets with helmet holes are way more accurate and superior to the old helmets. Now a lot of people in the LEGO Star Wars community talk about how the hole should go here instead of here, but that's not accurate at all. If you look at all the Phase 2 clones in the Clone Wars and live action movies like Attack of the Clones and Revenge of the Sith, you'll clearly see that their helmet attachments are above that line. Phase 2 clone troopers never had ways to put attachments on their helmets for all the time that LEGO Star Wars has existed, which stopped LEGO from doing very popular characters like Commander Cody, which we just got very recently because of the updated helmets. The LEGO Star Wars community started complaining about not being able to put attachments on Phase 2 helmets, so LEGO listened and they added it to the new wave of Phase 2 clone troopers. Then fans started complaining about how the helmet holes look bad and aren't accurate at all. And while the holes in my opinion are very accurate, the appearance of them is up to everyone's own opinion. I personally don't mind them as it's very hard to tell from the front, but I just don't think they look that bad. While I personally love the new helmets, I won't deny there are some flaws. If you look at visors like Commander Cody's, it's more of a clip where there isn't the need for holes in the helmet, and companies like Clone Army Customs have already made it a clip for their custom figures, but then that causes a dilemma for the antennas. What Clone Army Customs does for antennas is having the hole lower on the helmet, but this covers up the breathers that would be there on a clone trooper and isn't entirely accurate. I actually think what LEGO did is the most accurate thing you can do at this size while not making it overly complex so it can be mass produced. Because adding more complexity to the mold causes problems when producing at a mass scale. Anyway, if you enjoyed this video, you should consider clicking this one.